My name is Gary Roach. I'm a licensed battlefield guide at Gettysburg National Military Park. I'm also the great-great-grandson of Captain Patrick DeLacy, who will fight here on July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in 1863. On the 50th anniversary, he couldn't make it back with the boys this summer. He was interviewed by a local paper in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and recorded all three days here at Gettysburg. A full transcript of that interview can be found on patrickdelacy.com. What we're looking at is the Pennsylvania State Monument. It's one of 1,300 monuments that are here in this year battlefield. It honors all 34,530 men from Pennsylvania who will fight here. In the center are statues of famous Pennsylvanians plus President Lincoln. But the most striking feature is on the base of this monument, there are these names by regiment. My ancestor's regiment, the 143rd, is from the Wyoming Valley, primarily from Wilkes-Barre in Scranton, Pennsylvania. The regiment is the basic recruiting unit in the American Civil War. It is made up of 10 companies of 100 men each, from certain locations within the town and the surrounding area. My ancestor's company is Company A, and here at Gettysburg he was a sergeant. And a couple of months after the battle, he goes back to Scranton, Pennsylvania, and has this picture taken. And it's very unusual to have a picture so close to the time of the battle. So, if you consider there are over 175,000 men that fought in this battle, over 51,000 casualties, the story and documentation of just one soldier, how important it is. But equally as important, a year after the Battle of Gettysburg, my great-great-grandfather will be awarded our nation's highest military honor for valor, the Medal of Honor. On the website, you will see that story. However, for the next several videos, we will see the story of his three days here at Gettysburg. We will now follow him, starting on the arrival on the field on July 1st.